Republican lawmakers hosting a roundtable to demand accountability from the Biden administration as the border crisis spirals out of control. It's a crisis that didn't have to happen. This is a self-inflicted wound. And as I've said repeatedly, as Vice President uh, Harris went down to Central America in search of the root cause, she really had no further to go than into the Oval Office, look at the President of the United States and realize President Biden is the root cause of this crisis. We now have a president, the first president in my lifetime, that came into office and intentionally unsecured the border. This is uh, DHS confirms there has been 1.7 million apprehensions on the border this year alone. And keep in mind, they had a secure border. How much worse it would have been had they had President Trump not started the year off as president. Retired acting ICE director Tom Holman attended the round table. You just saw him and talked about that. But with just Republicans, it's kind of the non-hearing hearing. Tom, were they all ears yesterday? Was anything accomplished yesterday? Yeah, a lot was accomplished. Uh, the senators that were there took a lot of notes. They asked a lot of questions, a lot of good questions. So they left there knowing what the, what the ground looked like. They, they know what causes surge, and they know how to fix it. They know what changes the, the changes the Biden administration made that caused the surge. So it, it, was a, it was a good hearing, very informative. Right. Chris Magnus is going to take over Border Patrol. Rodney Scott was asked to leave, essentially. Uh, is he going to do a good job? Because on the surface, he seems the antithesis of someone that will secure the border, judging by his track record, and not even admitting that it's a crisis. Exactly. Look, that hearing, I was a little disappointed in the hearing. I thought he should have got hammered more. If that would have been a Trump nominee, they would have been all over him. But look, he's, he's a, he's a pro-sanctuary cities. He refused to work with ICE when he's the chief in Tucson and now he's the director. He refused to work with our special agents and officers. And even though his officers wanted to and they tried to behind the scenes, he ordered them not to assist immigration authorities. And look, he, he is, he's went against President Trump from day one. He says his policy is inhumane. And bottom line is he fails to recognize that President Trump created the most secure border in, in my lifetime. And he is, he is a perfect choice for this administration because this administration wants open borders. He's a worse choice for the men and women of CBP who simply want to do their job and secure the border. Do you think there's any Democrats that understand this is national security and South Party politics? Gary Peters is the chairman of Oversight. He's going to get these notes that you guys gave him, how to secure the border. He's got, the president's got 23% approval on border security. Why wouldn't it be in his own political interest to get a hold of this thing? I think it absolutely is. It absolutely is. Look, the numbers right now are historic high. Historic. We've never seen numbers like this in the history of, of counting numbers with the Border Patrol. If, if he cares about his political future, if he cares about the safety and security of this country, he should have a hearing. Because this is more, this isn't just about illegal immigration. This is about public safety. It's about public health. It's about, it's, it's a national security issue. Look, Border Patrol already arrested 17 people on the, on the FBI watch list. 400,000 gotaways. How many of them were known as suspected terrorists? If you think that number is zero, then you, they, they, you, are, you certainly don't understand the dynamics of the border. And not many people like you think they actually turned around 60% of the 1.7 million, uh, especially when we're seeing these overnight flights. Uh, and we need night vision glasses to see everybody there dropping off in small airports around the country. Uh, Tom, hopefully someone will start listening to you. Thanks so much for joining us.